Yeah. Living in Soweto, particularly in Dobsonville, I was born in Dobsonville and that's where I grew up. Um, if you tell me today that uh, I was poor, I'd be very upset. Yvonne, thank you so much for giving us your time. Thank you for having me. I walked into the house and I was just so blown away and I was just like, my goodness, this is just like iconic standard. It's just like iconic. I look at some of the murals that you have in your house, just some of the awards that you have in your house. And it just, these are some of the things that just stamp like a life well lived, a life that has been impactful. But I want us to go a bit back, right? Let's go to the young mom Yvonne Chaka Chaka in Dobsonville before the age of 19 where her life changed forever. Thank you once again and for that beautiful introduction. Living in Soweto, particularly in Dobsonville. I was born in Dobsonville and that's where I grew up. Um, if you tell me today that uh, I was poor, I'd be very upset mm. because I knew that when there was no bread at home, I would go to Sister Thelma's house and ask for bread and I'll be given bread. Yes. Or mom will say, Tata na impupu, mandlela, ask for tomato and onion yeah. and would be given that. Yeah. And life was just normal. Mm. There was absolutely nothing untowards that. Mm. And we lived. We looked f out for each other. We protected each other. We were there for one another. Yeah. So nobody went to bed without eating. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up in church. Mm. I grew up in church. Mm. And I guess um, at school, we sang in choirs. You know, uh, I will open it. And uh, so, yeah. And my father loved music. Yeah. He collected great music, you know, songs like. Uh, I was born by the river. And those are the songs that one listened to Mahalia Jackson, yeah. uh, Mary Makeba, you know, and um, yeah. So I, I and, and dad had the best whistle. Ah. You could hear him from the corner whistling and you knew that that was Bra Rex. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, music was not something that was uh, in the cards for me. Definitely okay. not, no. Definitely not. I wanted to be a chartered accountant. Okay. And uh, my mother wanted me to be a lawyer. My elder sister became a nurse because dad died when I was 11. Mm. And as the el eldest, she had to go and help mom augment her salary. And my middle sister, from when she was young, she just wanted to be a teacher. And that is what she, she is. Yeah. Yeah. 1985, I just completed my metric a year before. And unfortunately, something happened. I was not able to go to university. Sure. Gatle, gatle, I was meant to be going to a place called the Race Relations. Okay. That's where most of the black people were receiving their bursaries or scholarships sure. to study further. Mm. And uh, yeah, I want to really say thank you to those people because they did give my sister a bursary to study, to be oh, a lovely. teacher. Yes, oh, thanks to the Race Relations. And so I'd go there and it was full every day. It was full. I must have gone there more than three, four times. And this particular day, I decided to take a detour and uh, from Bramfontein to Commissioner Street. Uh, little did I know that on that fateful Friday, I'll call it either fateful or whatever, uh, and it was raining and there were lots of young people, you know, uh, they were looking for people to, to, to present. So I thought, oh, oh, I didn't make it to the race relations. Let me get in <laughs> Try here. this, yeah. And uh, so I went in there. I think Mutlalepule, Tlabadao, and all those people. So there was a lady called Sungu they paired us with to take us upstairs for an audition. Mm. And as we were sitting there, a guy called Louis Lope came in with the tapes of Magino, Kim Kelly. Mm. Holiday. Yes. And... Um, he spotted Sungu and said, oh, you know, I work for this record company called d So, uh, come, come with me. Uh, she invited me. Okay. So I looked, you know, on the wall looking for a watch. I'm like, 
Mm. By three o'clock, I have to I have back to home be. <laughs> because my mother, when she comes back, she's mm. find me at home, or I must mm. come with a report to mm. say I did succeed getting a bursary or promises or or a job or something. Because my mother said, I don't want you to tell you she need to do something. Mm. Go and find money. Go and find a job so that you go to university or a college. And so the lady drags me, so I'm draggable, and there off we went to Diffon Records. Mm. Sungu goes into the boardroom, and I'm sitting at the reception with this lady. In fact, she's, she was like, she's my best friend yes. now, Buski. <laughs> so we're sitting there, we're looking at each other, we don't know each other, you know, and it's like, Ufunanla, why am I a school And I'm like looking at this lady, and like, is she, yes, this is. So as I'm standing up to walk out, Sungu is coming back to the reception. So Phil Hollis says, hey, young lady, come. Mm. Come to the boardroom. Mm. And he makes me listen to the song. Okay. The song is I'm in love with the DJ. I'm in love, love, love. love, 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 love with a DJ. With the phone, the song is playing. So he asks me, do you like the song? I'm like, mm, hearing it for the first time, how can I like it? I mean, mm. but it's, it's a nice beat. And so he says, can you sing? I'm like, mm, well, uh, yeah, but um, what does that have to do with me? So he says, oh, you're very cheeky. Feisty. So, um, I mean, I grew up in my kitchen. Mm. So I'm trying to impress the white man, you know, to say, yeah, I can stand up to you. Yes, you know? yes. So he says, uh, just sing. I'm like, what? Anything. And so I started singing. When I find myself in times of trouble, mm. Mother Mary comes to me. Speak the words of wisdom, let it be. And she said, I found my girl. Wow. Just like that. Wow. Gave me four purple five rents. You were not born then, you don't know that. <laughs> Way before my time. <laughs> four purple five rents, and I'm looking. Five, 10, 15, 20, I'm rich. That's a lot of 20 money. Bucks. Mm. And so I get to the reception. So he says, oh, wait. So he gives me the words. It's raining in the city. I've got nowhere to go. I have no one to talk to except the voice i'm in love love with the D dj and the tape he says go and learn the song come back on monday yeah. oh okay so i go to the reception so he's sitting there and i'm like did the bus give you the money she's like no so i'm walking out now so she grabs me i'm like yeah 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 <laughs> stop oh my mom leave me alone and um She's like, why are you having money? Why are you mm, having the tapes? Mm. Why are you having this? I'm like, well, ask the white man. I, don't mm. know. I said, are you coming back on Monday? He says, no, for what? I said, he asked me to come back on Monday. And so it's like, so we pull each other there. I'm like, please, can you just leave me alone? Go and talk to Mlu. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, and, I'm getting down. I'm getting down. And, and that was it. So she was like a pawn in your... She really was. She really was. In your success story. Yeah. And I'm very, I'm so grateful to Sungu, you yeah. know, because it could have been her, yeah. it could have been me, it could have been you, it could have been anybody else. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it was you. It was me at the right time, at the right at place. At the right place. Yeah.